in a world where everything you know is wrong. This summer, you have to see it for yourself. God help us all. Welcome to today's show, everybody. Today's movie we're going to be doing is <laughs> The Great Gatsby. <laughs> Synopsis: Rich guy. Played by Leo. Played by Leo DiCaprio. Moves into a house near his old love to re... Played by that one girl from that one movie that you probably like, Hey, I've seen this girl before, but you don't know her name. In the hopes of meeting up with her in the future. I don't know. I'm not a Baz Luhrmann fan. I, I, I didn't like movie... Romeo and Juliet, the one he did with... I thought this Leo. movie was pretty good. I thought it looked amazing. I thought I, didn't like it, I thought the Rouge. mix of the modern music with the old school feel l looked really cool. What you Braz think Lerman. about the movie and the story? I don't know. It kind of took me out of it. The what was it like? How they were saturated the characters, the coloring wise. So it kind of took me out of it. Leo is amazing in this movie though, acting wise. Wouldn't you agree, Abel? Yes, he is old sport. All in all, we give this movie a four. Sure, out four five. out of five Abels. Now, it's time for Pablo's Top 5. Really? This is happening? That's right, I said Pablo. The guy who tried to kill us. Red vs. Blue. Hates our show. I guess he wanted to join the best, am I right? Pablo's Top 5. Oh, I didn't see you guys here. Hey, welcome to Pablo's Top 5. This time it's going to be Top 5 Party Movies. Alright, number 5, Animal House. Classic movie. Number 4, The Great Gatsby. The whole movie revolves about, around him throwing parties to get a girl. Number three, The Hangover. And the whole night was one epic party that they don't even remember. Number two, Super Bad. And the number one movie, party movie to me, Project X. That one top five. Thank you guys for watching. Back to Justin and Abel. And now it's time for this week's movie roundup. <laughs> top five movies at the box office for this past weekend. Number one was Iron Man with 72.5 million. Iron Man Followed by Great Gatsby, Pain and Gain, Peoples, 42. Thoughts? 42 million hurt. Don't worry, you don't need to see 1 through 41 to get the story. It's about Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Terrible joke. 42 is the Jackie Robinson. Uh -oh. 42 is the Jackie Robinson. It's a story about Jackie Robinson's life. Pain and Gain, three buff dudes. Apparently Abel was supposed to be the fourth actor, but they kicked him out due to and kicked due to accident. I refused to be on set. The Rock was intimidated. Let's just say, we'll keep it at that. And Peoples. Have you heard of Peoples? Does that even spell people? P E O. It's P E E. I originally I wanted you to read this name so I could see how you pronounce it. Peoples. It has your Peoples. it has your best buddy Craig Robinson. Craig right? Robinson. I saw him at the Maxim 100. Dope party, it was insane. But here's the thing, it is produced by Tyler Perry. If you've seen Meet the Parents, it's the same thing with the African American version. Same thing though. Carrie Washington. Why aren't you spelling people? It's not gonna be safe though. Mabel? I'm gonna watch it. Coming out this weekend, Star Trek Into Darkness. I haven't seen the first one. Really? I haven't seen the first one. You're missing out. It's good. I will definitely see this. You see it? Watch it. You know what the guy who plays the bad guy's name is? What? Something Cumberbot. It's the name of the of the actor who plays the bad guy in the movie. We don't know if Kennedy it's Con or not. Cumberbot. <laughs> it's gonna be Cumberbot. That's the worst thing. <laughs> this week's pick of the week is obviously the only movie that's coming out of Star Trek. Would you recommend re-seeing any movies that are in theaters still? You can watch The Great Gatsby, The Iron Man. Or Star Trek, but or if you want to see a movie, Abel was almost in Pain and Gain. Pain and Gain, if you like buff dudes. Um, I'm saying Into Darkness, go with something different. Yeah, Into Darkness, I was gonna say, it's, it's, it's the newest one. If exactly. you haven't seen Gatsby, then, then. Still see Star Trek. Yeah, watch. Wait for a DVD, it's, it's a good movie though. Wrap it up, Abel! Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, write your comments in the section below. Please like our video if you guys really do like it. If you guys don't like it, still like it because it helps us out a lot. I didn't, even start, I didn't even start it without the whole I know, good job. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. You guys have just been critiqued.
Spoiler this. alert! First of all, the book came out in like 1923. I think if you haven't read it by now, it's your own fault. You've had the time. Most books actually, most, most schools actually require you to read this book. Okay, so this is what happens. So Toby McGuire buys this house right next to a big mansion. The person who lives in that house has never been seen. Is it Gatsby? It's Batman. He's taking eight years off. So he has a small house, and then Toby McGuire wakes up to all these men just fixing up the house, putting plot, patent, put everything that's flowers and you, you name it, it's there. So anyway, so he's waiting. Gatsby story. has a plan, and he wants to meet this girl named Daisy, which is coincidentally uh, Toby McGuire's cousin, right? <laughs> Finally, we're getting to the chase. Wait, there's a chase scene. There actually is a chase scene. <gasps> so they go. In, so the Pencilton mustache finds out they're driving fast, and they're driving. They're driving by the by that by the house of the guy that the girl that he's had that the that the Pencilton the poor guy. mustache. The, the, the mechanic's wife. Mechanic, wife. <gasps> it was Gatsby. Gatsby was driving that car. Oh my God! And then somebody should show him um, a lesson and say anything. She doesn't even tell Toby McGuire anything. Like she just takes off. That's family right there. 